Hello. It's a little past midnight, but I am going to do her makeup to make a tutorial for you guys. I know it's pretty dark, but we can try to manage. Alright, so first, I am going to get my Physicians Formula. This is for hazel eyes, but it has a whole bunch of different colors. So, you can use it soft or dry, and you can do wet for dramatic. And she says she wants to do dramatic, so I'm going to get the sponge applicator in water, and she's going to choose the color that she wants. Uh, I think this is the like gold, or the pink. Gold. And we're going to use that as a wash all over the lids, or you can even use it as a liner. So, there's the product. Now we're going to use it as a wash on her lids. Very gold metallic. Let's see it. Feel a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put it on all the way to her inner in the eyelid because we're gonna most likely use white for the inner corners. So there it is see it for the little bit right there on that eye and now do the same to the other eye and if you need to you can dip your brush in water a little bit more they're about equivalent. Alrighty. And now we're gonna go in with the pinkish color that she liked and do it close to the inner corner but not entirely. Just right here in the space. And put it over it as her crease color. <laughs> Should look kind of natural. <laughs> and now for the white. I might use the different colors for the white to make it pretty vibrant. But I'm gonna up a little bit and dab it in. If you want, you can use it as a brow bone highlight. It's very pigmented. Now you can show them. That's what it looks like so far. And now we're probably going to go in with a different white. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. natural palette. And I'll use the Shimani white right here. It has this thin little brush. I'm going to grab some of that one. to the same of the eye. Yep. Once you're done with that, you can take the color that you want. I like this from a No. 7 palette, and it's a very shimmery, bright white. Well, I'll do a swatch of it on my finger, and it's very bright. 
right? Lost the brush. <laughs> And I like the angle of it if you use it for your brown bone because it's kind of swooped down like that. And you go right into your brow bone and swoosh, there it goes. <laughs> and it's like perfect for the brow bone. <laughs> you have to go in if you want to put it in your inner corner. And swoosh, there it is. <laughs> Now for the next part, you do the liner. You can choose any color of liner as your choice, or you can use any kind of eyeshadow as your liner. But we are going to use the Starry brand gel liner. <laughs> and I'm going to get the brush that it came with. It's a very thin synthetic brush. I guess get more on me like this. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm going to try to make a thin lid onto her eyes. Just like that. <laughs> I kind of didn't let it go all the way towards her inner corner because and then you can see the white more, so I'm going to adjust the line a little bit. Open your eyes slightly. Not like that. And, and there we go. Alright. Eyes in water. <laughs> Her eyes are very twitchy and it's kind of hard to <laughs> do that sometimes, but I got it to work. Alright. Now do the same to the other eye. <laughs> and then mascara and she can choose any of the mascaras that I prefer the Maybelline Colosso the Alain made one coat dial up for this Alley Colors I think it is mascara that has a very thick brush um, Alain made one coat do you want it on one, two, or three? I guess three. Give me flashes. <laughs> I like to scoop off the rest of the excess product. No, no. <laughs> All that twitchy. Mm -hmm. And now, if you want to, you can set your eyeliner with a darker black so that you know it's there to stay. She'll look a little bit darker and it won't crease. And that is 
pretty much the finished look. So if you guys like to comment, rate, subscribe, and feel free to check out her channel. And I'll mm -hmm. have her download the videos so she can make it on her channel also. Night, guys.